G'day superstars, if you're anything like me, you're always on the lookout to find editing tips that are gonna improve your workflow and make your editing more efficient and quicker. And if that's the case, this video is just for you. Just you, not you, you. Before we get straight into that video, we should all hit the like button, let's go. Well actually, you can do it. I know where it is, you just do it for me. I've got some stock footage here I've got from the internet I can use for this test. But the first thing you wanna do is go up to DaVinci Resolve up here on the top left and click on keyboard customization. Once that's open, go over to the search here and look for split clip. Click on that. Once you've found that, click on the box on the right here and select the two key and do a sign. Make sure once you set up that first preset, you give it a name like I did, I called it Split Clip. The reason being is if you make a mistake or you delete something you shouldn't have, you can always go back up here to the right and click on DaVinci Resolve, or it'll take you back to its default settings, um, or you can use the one you're using now. Once you've done that, I want you to search for Ripple Delete. Scroll down to the edit timeline, click on it, and assign number four. Sign. Save. Now when you click on two, you'll see it says cut clip, and then on four it says ripple delete. Now you can close this. And you can go into timeline. So basically what this is good for is if you've got a long file, say you film something for a good 20 minutes or so, and you've got a long, nice long file, and the person in front of the camera makes a mistake, you can just scroll through where you want, right before the mistake, press the two key, and then scroll to the edge of the mistake, press the two key again, then select it and press four and it deletes and pulls your timeline back in order. So you literally can just go two, two, select four. Two, two, select four. And the good thing about it is it cuts your timeline down without any gaps and everything works perfectly. I find this much faster than putting it into here and then scrolling clicking, scrolling, clicking, and then add, dragging or adding it to the timeline. I find that to be slower and you can end up with gaps as well sometimes because you don't, sometimes it doesn't snap too correctly. Sometimes you can sit there like this and you don't realize and it's actually not quite touching, for instance. And then when you've got uh, your timeline all done, you've got these gaps everywhere you've got, you've got to fix. There are so many little tricks and tips in DaVinci Resolve to make your life a lot easier. Like this video here, which is similar to this one, but a little bit different. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.